everyone, it's Abby with The Bead Place and beadplace.net and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make one of these beautiful beaded rope necklaces. Now if you're new here, I specialize in making quick, trendy, and easy beaded jewelry. And you might be thinking, that beaded rope does not look quick and that does not look easy. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This is not bead crochet, this is not kumihimo, this is not needle and thread. It's wire wrapped. So, <laughs> This is wire, basic wire wrapping skills, and it took me less than a half hour. So if you're curious to see how I made this beautiful beaded rope, stay tuned. The materials we'll be using today are 28 grams or 96 inches of size 8 seed beads. We'll also need 4 yards of 26 gauge craft wire and an 18 inch pre-made finished necklace cord. So before I share all of my beading secrets with you, I just want to make sure that you know this is, this is going to be worth it. So uh, I'm going to need you to do something for me. I'm going to need you to click that subscribe button right down there if you haven't yet. The first thing that we're gonna do to make our beaded rope necklace is string all of your beads. Now we're working with 28 grams of seed beads here and that's an approximate number. If you don't have a gram scale, what you can do is just string 96 inches long of beads on your wire. Now in order to prepare the wire, what you can do is either string it directly onto your spool of wire or if you have a cut piece of wire, either put a stopper on the end of it or you can bend it over with your pliers just to stop the beads from coming off. So you wanna keep your wire fairly straight so that it doesn't kink. If it kinks multiple times, it could break. If it breaks, make sure to twist it back together and carry on like nothing happened. Now, if you're working from beads that come off of a hank, I've got a little bit of a trick here to show you that will save you even more time so you could maybe get this half hour rope done in 25 minutes or 20 minutes instead. Um, so you can see here that I'm using the wire to string through the beads while they're still on the hanked strands. So that way you can string multiple beads at one time instead of just the one. So once you have 96 inches or 28 grams of beads strung, what we'll do is start assembling the necklace. Our next step is to attach the beaded wire onto the necklace cord. You'll want to take the very tail end of the wire where there are no beads and start to wrap it tightly around the very end of your cord near the clasp. You want to make sure that this wrap is very tight. The look of this coil doesn't really matter because it's going to be covered with beads, so your number one priority here is to make sure that it is wrapped tightly. So after you wrap, what you can do is tuck down the tail end with a chain nose pliers if need be, tighten it with your chain nose pliers, and then make sure that the beaded end of the wire is actually really close to the top of the clasp or the top of the cord so that when we move those beads down and start to spiral it, you won't see any break between the clasp and the cord. So we wanna cover the cord completely with coils of beads. As you can see here, I'm twisting the cord in my hands so that the beads spiral evenly around it. Now, as you coil, you might start to notice that you're using more wire, more length of wire than you are the beads. So you'll probably need to move your beads down the wire as you work. And that's because you can kind of see there's some spaces between the beads. So as I'm coiling, you might start to notice that there's a little bit of difference in the sizes of the coils that I'm making, and that's okay. That's to be expected. What you can do if you notice some uneven coils is just what I'm doing here. You can start to twist your coils uh, and tighten them, and that will start to make them look a little bit more uniform, and it will also tighten your coils to the cord itself so it'll look a little bit smaller and tighter. You won't see any spaces between the coils and it'll look just a little bit more like an actually beaded rope uh, with needle and thread. So a lot of this really is just tightening as you coil. 
And once you get to the very end, what you'll wanna do is continue adding beads until you have just a little bit of space left for your wire. And once you have figured out how many beads you'll need to place around, you can take the tail end of the wire and just start to coil it around the space between that little clasp section of the, the necklace cord and where your beads end. So coil this really tightly, just like you did on the other side. If need be, kind of wiggle your beads out of the way so you can get a tight wrap and coil, coil, coil until you are satisfied with how tight it is. Now we're gonna go in with a flush cutter and trim the tail end down. You can use a chain nose pliers to tuck it down and kind of hide it if need be. And then our last step is to just tighten and that will actually push those beads up over the coil and hide it so that no one will be able to see that it's wired. Now this technique makes a very flexible cord which is perfect for a bracelet as well. If you're interested in checking out a tutorial for a bracelet that's very similar to this project that we had a few years back, you can click the link in the description below for the Bohemian Rhapsody bracelet. If you wanna get creative with this technique and you just kinda of need to know some ratios for how to modify it, the ratio is six to one. So it's approximately six inches of uncoiled beads that creates one inch of coiled beads. Now that is with size eight seed beads and an approximate three to four millimeter cord. If you're changing the size of your beads or even the size of your wire or cord inside, that will really, really change the number and the length that you'll need. So just have fun with this project. Send us your pictures of your finished projects. We love to see it. Tag us in it on Instagram, share it with us on Facebook and have fun creating. So my question to you is which necklace do you like better? Do you like the turquoise version or do you like the multicolor metallic version or would you do a different color altogether? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. If you have any questions or just wanna say hey, drop them in the comments below. If you really enjoyed watching this video and you would like to learn more, subscribe because we put out new video tutorials all the time. Like us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be down below as well as product links for any of the products we use today. And thanks for watching.